Hey guys, so this is going to be a smaller Dollar Tree haul. I just filmed a Dollar Tree haul yesterday and then I uploaded one, I think, three days ago, something like that. So this one's not as big, but I did find some cute items. It was kind of a spur of the moment trip because I went to a different town and if I'm in a different town that I don't normally go to or I don't go to a lot, I always have to stop by the Dollar Tree's in whatever town I'm in just to see if they have different stuff so you guys know that I don't normally pair anything with my Dollar Tree hauls I don't like to interrupt the Dollar Tree hauls but today because it is a smaller Dollar Tree haul I do have two things that I want to show you guys but I'm gonna do it after the haul so that way the haul is not interrupted for you guys and you guys can choose whether or not you want to watch it. I hope you guys do because the stuff that I have to show you is really cute. If you guys are planner junkies and you love planner stuff, you're definitely going to want to stick around for after the haul is over. I had a friend that made and sent me some really nice planner stuff. She has an Etsy shop, so definitely stick around for after the haul. So I'm going to go ahead and start showing you guys what I got at this particular Dollar Tree. So the first thing that I got is, of course, a set of stickers. And yes, there is a glare. I apologize for that. It's because it's the laser set of stickers. And I always love when I find stickers that I don't already own because, in all honesty, I own so many of the stickers from Dollar Tree. My collection is pretty out of control, but I do use stickers a lot. So this one was really cute. They had... Tons of these laser sets that I had never seen before, but there were two of them that had the little animals on them. The other set had owls on it as well, and it had a lot more pinks and purples, but it had a lot more sea creatures, whereas this one had the woodland type creatures. So I'm in love with this set. I think it's really cute for fall. It's got the cute little skunks, the raccoons, the little brown owlies, the turtles, the bumblebees, the fox. So I'm definitely going to be putting these bad boys to use. You get 50 in this set. The next set of stickers that I got, of course, I only found one set. So you guys know that I've been looking for the dessert stickers. I have a very similar set from Walmart. I don't know if it's in the Sticko brand or what brand and they're puffy like this, but this set has a lot more on it. So I was kind of bummed that there was only one of these left, but I was grateful just to get my hands on one. So this is also the Jot brand, the puffy stickers. You get 73 of these, you guys. So it has the little chocolate bars, the cupcakes, the donuts, the little milkshakes or fruit drinks, whatever they are. Look at that cupcake with the little heart on top. I am just in love with these stickers. So hopefully I can find some more of these. This was a repurchase. I already purchased this duct tape, I want to say about a week and a half to two weeks ago. It has maybe even three weeks ago. I'm not sure. It's got the vintage typewriter. It says hello. It's got the butterflies on it. And I thought, you know what? While they have these, I might as well pick up one more because this is a really cute duct tape. It's in the Toolbench brand, which is what they're always in. And it's 1.89 inches by 15 feet. Then I picked up this little drawer organizer, and I have seen these drawer organizers in white and black with the rubber grip inside, and they have these in multiple sizes, and I've always passed on them. Now that I'm actually looking for the black ones that are about half this size and a little bit wider, I found two, but they were cracked, and then this particular Dollar Tree didn't have any black. They only had the white ones in this long one. So I went ahead and picked up the long white one temporarily. I'm going to put some of my random steak knives and just stuff like that that are kind of just in my drawer loosely rolling around in here and put it on the side of my silverware organizer. I also want to get the two black ones to put all of my silverware in just temporarily until I can get a bigger silverware organizer because I have the white one from Dollar Tree and it doesn't have the slot for big spoon, small spoon, big fork, small fork. It just has a spot for, you know, each one. So you have to mix the sizes and I have multiple sets of silverware and it's just overflowing. So probably didn't need to know all that, but... Now you know. So then I picked up this Toolbench brand 
set or it's a pack of 36 sandpapers and I thought that was a pretty good deal because you never know what you're going to have to sand down. Sometimes I get old furniture and I end up sanding it down and that's a lot of sandpaper. They had a couple new tools as well I took pictures of. They had some wrenches. They had some wrench sets. They had um, the wrench or pliers that... I, I don't know what that tool is, but um, you squeeze it and it stays where it's at. Um, they had some crowbars. I know that probably just sounded ridiculous the way I described that tool. I'm probably going to get made fun of, but they did have some new tools. So if you'd like to see... Um, what I took pictures of, go over to my Instagram, that's breakup to make up one. I used to just approve everyone, now I'm going to ask how you know me. All you have to say is YouTube and I will approve you. So I got that pack of sandpaper. I got some more of the cute little stamps. I already own some of these stamps. The only stamp that I think I passed on is the please sign and return because I don't have any use for that stamp. So I picked up another one of this one, which is the love, and it's got the heart. I already own this one, but I love these stamps. I've been using on using them on my envelopes for my cards. I got this one, which I don't own, and it's got the little conversation bubble, and it says whatever. I wish they would get these in colored ink as well. That would be awesome. This one is a repurchase as well. This is hashtag fantastic. I actually just hauled one of this one yesterday. And then this one I'm absolutely loving. It's got the camera and it says smile. So I was super happy to find more of these stamps to add to my stamp collection. They're just in the black black ink and it's in the jot do it yourself brand i love the do it yourself brand at dollar tree i think they have a lot of really cute crafty stuff oh my goodness one second really okay so then i got this pack of chopping mats it says, set of two flexible chopping mats. And I don't remember who it was because sometimes I watch random Dollar Tree hauls of people that I'm not even subscribed to. There was someone that picked up, or was it Jilly Bean? I don't remember who it was. They got the microwave covers and they're only about... I want to say this size from here to here and it comes with two and you put them over your bowls in the microwave and her idea and like I said I don't remember if it was jelly bean it might not have been I don't remember who it was their idea for that was to lay it down when you're using like your exacto knife or painting to protect your surfaces so I had picked that set up first but they were smaller and then I saw these chopping mats and they're basically the same thing but they're a lot bigger than the microwave covers. So these are going to be perfect for laying down on my table because fall and Christmas, I like to do lots of crafts. And if I'm using my X-Acto knife, just like she said, hot glue gun or whatever, this is going to protect my kitchen table or wherever I'm at. And you get two of these. These are 11 inches by 14 inches, so it's a pretty decent size. I picked up... Another one of these Malto Meal Golden Puff cereal. This is only 7.7 .7 ounces. I told you guys I don't like to purchase these little boxes for a buck, but I said yesterday in my haul it's a convenience thing. If I don't have the time to go really far and you know I don't have a lot of cereal, I'll go ahead and just pick this up for convenience. And Robert really likes this cereal, so I picked up one more of them. I did pick up two more and I just hauled three of these yesterday. I went ahead and picked up two more because like I said yesterday in my haul, these are probably my all-time favorite duct tapes ever from Dollar Tree and I know they're not going to last. So now I have five of these and to me, the more the merrier because I will definitely be putting those duct tapes to use. I went a little bit crazy, you guys, on the pom-poms. And at first, I was calling them little furry balls. And I was like, you know what? That just doesn't sound good. So I looked on the tag. These are the pom-poms. And in the beginning, I could only find... Wait, is this the right color? I could only find this one and... 
this one. These were the only prints I could find at like two or three different Dollar Trees. But these are repurchases. So I do have like two of this one, now three. And then I have a couple of this one. And at this particular Dollar Tree, I was happy. I found the leopard ones in the color that I actually like. The standard brown leopard. So I picked up two of the standard leopard I picked up one of the black, and I normally would have picked up more of the black, but I already have two of the bigger black ones from Walmart that I got for, I think the first one I got for $2, maybe, and then the second one I got on clearance for a buck. So I have two of this one, one of this one, two of this, and then I think I have four or five of these ones. And I like to put these on my purse or purses as little purse charms. Also, another reason that I picked up so many is because these are really cute to throw in with gifts for people because who wouldn't like to get a little pom-pom to put on their purse or their backpack or whatever. So I got those. I'm loving... Some of them are a lot softer than others. Like the red and the black one are super soft, like my black one from Walmart. And then like these ones, they're soft, but they're not as like feathery soft as these ones. So it just says pom-pom keychain. I didn't see any of the hot pink. I don't think I saw any of the baby pink because I would have grabbed that. I did see this color, which I passed on. They did have gray. I almost got the gray. I probably should have got a gray. I didn't see any white. So I still would like to get the hot pink, baby pink, white, and the royal blue. And then maybe I should pick up a gray if I see them again. So, I think, you guys, that that's everything. This, like I said, this was a small Dollar Tree haul. Now, I'm going to show you guys what Lily sent me. I had originally made that into its own video, but I decided to go ahead and include it in a Dollar Tree haul because this was a smaller Dollar Tree haul. So, she has her own little Etsy shop, and she makes planner goodies. They're very affordable, and... She was nice enough, you guys, to send these to me free of charge, which I thought was super nice. I'm definitely going to be ordering some more from her. So when she sends the set to you, if my camera will focus, it comes on this cute little piece of paper. Come on, focus. Okay, maybe it'll focus in a second. Comes on this cute little piece of paper, and then it comes in this protective sleeve, so that way it doesn't get ruined. She sent me this really cute card. I've got to speed this up. I know my camera's going to shut off. She sent me this really cute Timry card. These are from Michaels. I do have some of these cards, but I don't own this one. It says Ahoy, and it's got the cute little shoes, like the sailing shoes, the bracelet, and the glasses. So then getting into the planner stuff that she sent me. She sent me two of these little guys, and I think these are really cute. And she handmade all of this stuff. So you can use these as bookmarks. You can use them in your planner. I'll probably use them in my Bible. So she sent me the cupcake one with the purple lace, the donut one. This, I guess you... I like doing planner stuff, but in all honesty, I'm not like... Some people, I'm not, like, super crazed about it, but I do enjoy decorating certain months, you know, and I do write in it, but I don't go crazy like some people, so she did write in the card that I could use this stuff for my Bible. So this goes either around a book or your planner. Tell me this is not super adorable with the baby pink. I love gold. I always have, so I like the fact that she incorporated this kind of chevron print gold in there. Look at the Hello Kitty and the cupcakes. And then my favorite item, which is the last item, is this little guy. And I actually want to use this, either this one or I'm going to order a Starbucks set and a Marilyn Monroe set from her. Come on. Dang it. Let me just move this really quick. So I'm going to use one of these as a purse charm. My boyfriend was like, I don't think you should use it as a purse charm. It's going to get ruined. And I'm like, yeah, but I'll get more use out of it as a purse charm than I would for like my planner. So it has the gold chain and then she put the little lobster claw on there so you can clip it onto your purse or your planner, wherever you want. It's got the, it's really meant for a planner. It's got the cupcake and the Hello Kitty. And then look at all of this beautiful ribbon that she included on there it's just so cute thank you so much lily so i'm going to verbally tell you guys her 
Instagram and Etsy, and then I will link the stuff down below. She also wrote the stuff in the card. Let me show it to you quickly. And her stuff is really affordable. And on her Instagram, she has like Nightmare Before Christmas. She has Mermaids, Hello Kitty, Starbucks, Marilyn Monroe, I think Chanel or Gucci. So her name's Lily Bassetta. Her Instagram is Impala Girl Trends. And then her Etsy shop is www.impalagirltrends.etsy.com. So like I said, I will definitely link that down below. You guys definitely go over and show her some love. Check out her Instagram and her Etsy. Very, very affordable. So once again, thank you, Lily. I don't know if my camera is going to allow me to film this last part. I'm going to try to. If it cuts off, I apologize. But I had purchased this backpack at $0.99 cent only for $2.99. It's this donut backpack. They also had one more backpack that I probably should have purchased. It was the last one. It was pink. And it had, like, I think a pug dog or something like that with a little crown. And it said princess in training. I ended up just getting one. So this is going to go to a child in need. I don't have a specific child picked out. But you can see $2.99 and they had other ones. I thought this was so cute because I love desserts. So I don't have everything in the backpack right now that I'm going to give. But I have a big portion of it. So in the backpack I included and hopefully whoever this goes to they like My Little Pony. And I didn't go out and purchase all of this stuff. I have a lot of this stuff that I've acquired in my beauty room. So I have these My Little Pony binders that I bought like two years ago. They've been in my drawer, so I'm putting both of these in there. This lunch pail was from Dollar Tree. And they have the new lunch pails that I just purchased as well. I have a purple one, and it's a little bit more wide, but I thought the pink would go better with this backpack. So I'm including this little lunch pail. I'm including this Jot 3 subject notebook. It is 120 sheets. I'm including this little pencil pouch. I have double of all of these pencil pouches. When they put them out, I accidentally bought two of each on separate trips. So I'm putting that in there. Super cute. I also have a pink binder that I forgot to grab, which is also going in here. It's hot pink with white polka dots, so that's going to go in there. I'm including this Jot pack of 10 pins. This My Little Pony pencil case. This 2016-2017 student planner. I thought this would be really cute. This could go to an elementary student or a junior high student. Tell me this is not super cute. I'm including this donut lanyard from Dollar Tree because it matches the backpack. Got to speed this up. I'm including this big pack of My Little Pony tissues. So it comes with six of them. Really hope whoever it goes to, they like My Little Pony. I'm including these TY pencils. These are super cute. I love these. These Bic Mechanical Pencils, and these are in the Extra Craze print. I thought those were cute. That way, if they like the Mechanical or the Regular, they've got them. This pack of erasers I got for $0.50 cents at Walmart. I normally wouldn't do it this fast, but I want to show you guys everything I have so far. These Crazy Art Super Washable Markers, these were $0.50. Cents. These colored pencils, which were also 50 cents. I'm putting this cute little Blamtastic, and Blamtastic is by Lip Smackers, chapstick in the Wow Wow Watermelon. And I'm putting it in there because it's got the little clip and go, and it's got the sleeve, so she can attach this to her backpack, maybe on the zipper or wherever she wants. This pack of glue sticks. And then the last thing I have in there are these little sharpeners. They're just hearts. I got a big pack of these, and I've separated them in different gifts and whatever. So I have more stuff that's going to go into this little backpack of goodies for a child that's less fortunate. I just have to dig it all out of my beauty room and wherever it's at. I'm going to put a hand sanitizer in there. I'm going to put the pink and white 
actual binder and it's not the floppy binder it's actually a hard one it's really cute she can put these binders or folders in there um so the hand sanitizer what else was i going to put in there i have a small thing of purell hand sanitizing wipes i wanted to put in there just some other little goodies i have lots of like school supply stuff so i'm just going to see what else i can fit in there put it in there and then i'm going to so there's the backpack once again. I know that was random to show you guys, but I think it's just awesome to kind of donate to a child in need. So if any of you guys have extra stuff, you've acquired extra stuff, definitely think about doing that because there are children in need. So I got to go. I've got to get Robert up and get him ready for school. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Once again, go over to Lily's Instagram and her Etsy shop. Show her some love. Let her know that Breakup to Makeup Jessica sent you. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.